requested since pretty much the last time I posted a video like this. It is a shoe tapping, shoe tapping, 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 and scratching, scratching, scratching video. Um, I did a poll, I think it's been like a week now, and I asked like what you guys want to see next on the channel, and I always leave an option for other because I am always open to new ideas, new concepts for videos, you know, whatever you guys want to see.
was one of that, those people. I said for years, I don't get Crocs. I don't get the hype. I don't see why people are so in love with them. I was like, they're ugly and like you can't wear them with anything. Well, guess what? I wear these with everything. I wear these like almost every day. I did wash them. Well, I washed this one. so comfortable 
last forever. Like I said, those black pairs of tennis shoes that I had by Adidas. Years, like years and years and years. I had them for so long. So you're definitely getting your money's worth too. Just great brand overall, you know, and they make cute stuff. I know they're also coming out with a Hello Kitty collab that I think is going to come out like November 1st, I believe. And it's not just shoes. It's like fanny packs and hats and like just super cute stuff. I saw it somewhere on Instagram because, you know, on Instagram, you don't just see like the f your followers or people you follow. You don't see their posts, like just their posts anymore. You get ads and you get accounts that Instagram thinks that you would like based on their algorithm. Well, apparently their algor algorithm, that's a hard word to say, algorithm. <laughs> apparently Instagram's algorithm is pretty spot on um, because that's where I found those Hello Kitty Adidas collaboration shoes and all the other stuff that they're coming out with. So might just not something from that collection. We'll see. The next shoe that I have is this wedge right here by Gianni Pini. I have showed off this shoe before and I think it was my first video when I was showing my shoe collection and it is just so, 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 so pretty. It's very like festive, the bright colors and the designs on it. I love it so much. Unfortunately, I've never worn them before, so they've just been in my closet. As you can see, they're a little dusty. <laughs> Probably should have wiped them down before this video, but that's alright. That's alright, that's alright. Um, but one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own, and I'm sure I'll wear them one day. I'll find some occasion to wear these. You know, I shouldn't even be waiting for an occasion. I should just some cute ass wedges because why not <laughs> who needs an occasion when you can just wear cute shoes all the time simply because they're cute <laughs> but yeah totally clean at the bottom like i said never never been worn i'm usually like a size eight in gianni beanie as well but again it kind of depends on the shoe like I think I'm between like an eight and an eight and a half in Gianni Beanie. Um, sometimes if it's something like strappy, you know, like a lot of straps and it's like more of a stiletto, sometimes I'll need like a little extra room just to be comfortable. And I'll do like an eight and a half. But I'm typically like a size eight, like that's pretty standard for me. For Gianni Beanie at least. A thing like with certain brands they will make their shoes so differently it's like you never know what size you're gonna be alrighty now this is the last shoe that I have for you guys this as you can tell is a tennis shoe by Vans I love love these shoes so much I got these at Nordstrom Rack um, I can't remember if it was last year or like the beginning of this year so much. I love wearing like all black or like black pants and like a graphic tee with these shoes is like my favorite outfit ever. Ever, 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 ever. I just love the different like designs. Almost looks like, you know, different patchwork. 
souls 